Good evening, everyone. We're back here with another one, Jenica's Journey. It's been a while since we've been here, taking you back to our house, going to share a beer. With we're you. taking it back to the roots with the beer reviews. Um, in honor of our 150th subscriber, we're taking it back to the day one thing we've done, um, what started it all for us and this beer review. So we're going to take you back to the very beginning. Yep. And we're bringing it back to our fans. So many months ago, um, one of our biggest um, Golden Circle members, um, he mentioned the beer that he wanted us to try. And we couldn't find it at the... Um, no variety packs out there. The We've been looking for the variety packs. We couldn't find them. But times have changed. And why don't you show um, the viewers what we got this time? Our first request from one of our number one fans. OG style. Michael's been talking about it all these times. We finally found it. We'll see, see Mikulowski. There it is. There it is. We got the Langanitas IPA variety pack. Or however they want to pronounce it there. Variety... Right, right, it but pack. Um, but four IPAs to try, all for Blanganitas. We're excited to try, we're excited to see what it's all about. One yes. of our biggest fans said this is the, I think he was t talking about the um, little, little something. something, so we're gonna get to that one soon. But we're gonna try four IPAs, let you know what we think. And as always, we're gonna see if whether it's a cheers or a jeers. So, whether it's a cheers, hopefully, like the Mets season this year, or a jeers, like the Mets past eight seasons. So, let's see. And we're gonna start it off with Blanganitas. Daytime. So we're going to start off with the lightest. You want to open it up? Sure. And we've got some new glasses to introduce to you guys. Sponsored by 99. Nope, Jake and Joe's. Jake and Joe's <laughs> supplied these for us. I saw them behind the bar. I said, what do we got to do to get those? And the waitress was nice enough to say, I'll send you home with a couple. So we've got a few glasses. We're going to try them out. Tonight's our first night using them and happy to share it with you. So this is a nice light beer. Yeah. Right off the bat, looks like it's going to be very light. Yeah. And as always, I have the handy dandy Bud Light on tap. Look at that. Not Murph, Murph, take a screenshot. Hold your Bud Light up. He actually does take screenshots when we ask him, guys, just so you know. All right, cheers. Cheers. So this beer is only 90 calories, three carbs, so it's for the health, um, the healthy ones in you. Um, oh, that smells yummy. So M. Miller, this is probably a beer that you're up your alley. Cheers. Cheers. That's Ooh, very good. Very smooth. I love yeah, it. Yeah, very good. Really yummy. Is there a little story to it? Yep. It says, partly sunny or partly cloudy, half empty or halfway to another. Sometimes there's still work to be done. Sometimes there's still work to avoid. There's freedom in burning down the house of fixed expectations, and it confers an undeniable lightness to being. It's very good, actually. I'm going to give this a solid 8.7. Yeah. 8.7. Really, really yummy. I like this a lot. For anyone who's not a big IPA fan um, and you want to try an IPA or you've never tried an IPA before and you want to know if something up your alley, um, I would say definitely try this one. Like um, My dad's not the biggest IPA fan. Um, we went to a brewery before um, and took my dad. It's actually for one of our, our events pre-wedding and he didn't he couldn't get into any of the beers and I think he would like this one. Yeah, it's really good. It's definitely the way to introduce yourself to an IPA if you've never had one. Very smooth. What so, do you reckon? Are you going to reckon it? It says something else up here. It says, there are two kinds. This one is bright and welcoming and lively and most certainly not to be confused with the other kind. So that is their way of saying it's a light IPA, I think. Well, there's their daytime. They don't have a, a nighttime, um, but they definitely have a daytime. I was thinking maybe that, that what, when Jen was reading that, there was a nighttime uh, beer, but I was looking at the beers in the pack and one of them's not called nighttime, but they have a daytime, so. That's what the can looks like. It's definitely a beachy beer. Mm hmm Beach or a barbecue. It definitely um, brings the summertime vibes. Um, yes. I think that's why they kind of call it daytime, uh, but it, yeah. Put that in your cooler this summer. Bring that Bring that to your first barbecue. Absolutely. Be the hero. People will love it. Yep. Especially the, health, the healthy ones in you. But I hope this year's um, finds everyone doing well. We haven't done a beer review probably since um, the end of the year last year. So it's probably been a few months. But, you know, all's well here. Um, and if you've seen the channel, we've gone a few places. We hit up Nashville. We went to New York City. 
Um, we have a few more things on tap as well. We did a couple of nights in Newport. Yep, we had that's New a future York. video, so stay tuned for New, uh, Newport. That's coming um, very soon. Um, we did New York for a couple of nights. Yeah. We've been bouncing around, so lots of good stuff. If you have been missing out and you're just seeing this because you like our beer reviews, check out some of those other ones. Yeah. We like those too. And if you like our Mexico videos, we do plan on coming back to Mexico very soon. I'm um, hitting up two more resorts, uh, so stay tuned for future. Um, information on that once we um finalize which resorts we're going to we're picking between a few right now trying to figure out which one is going to be the checking out their instagram so. seeing who's what who's got what going on reading the reviews we're big trip advisor um researchers before we go somewhere michael especially he likes to read all the details about these places so yeah. we do a months thorough... and months in advance i i'm researching yeah. uh properties and trying to figure out uh, when the next review is um we may have vegas in the pipeline so um a few things there we've been to vegas probably more times than anywhere else we've ever traveled to. So um, we're going to probably make a video of like little tips and secrets that we've learned throughout the years. Um, so stay tuned for that as well um, once we finalize the next few months for us. So Yes. Also, it's the first day of spring today. So happy spring. And it's still St. Patrick's Day weekend. People are still celebrating. Hence the grain. Hence yep. the grain. We are representing until the end. It was pretty low key this year. We just stayed in our town and visited a few of our local spots. But I hope you guys had fun. I hope everyone was safe. And we've got we've got life back a little bit. Yeah, and we were definitely jolly for it. So the next one is the next beer we're trying is the one that um pretty much everyone has probably tried if you heard of Langanitis. Um, it's the IPA, the standard one. And would you call it Langanitis or Langanitis? I don't know. I don't know, Langanitis, Langanitis. Uh, la I'm going to say Langanitis. What's on the, that can? What is that picture? It's a dog of some sort. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one has a dog, too. I was going to read a quote, but a little bit of bear spoke to my pants from something. Okay, so you guys can see what we're looking at. So we're having that one with the little puppy on top there. Yep. Just trying to figure out what that background art is, too. You want me to pour it? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's a dog face. I see that now. Maybe that was the brewmaster's mascot or something. So this one is definitely a little darker than the first. It's definitely an IPA. There you go. What did you rate that first one, Michael? 8.7. 8.7. All right. Let's see what this one's all about. Now, being very transparent, and if you look at all our previous beer reviews, we have tried many ipas um we've tried harpoon's ipa we tried cisco's ipa um sam adams we tried a few of their ipas um and we tried a few companies from ramon um trying to think of the names but i'm um blank in there um we've done kettlehead yeah kettlehead brewing company um it's not green mountain but whatever we've tried a lot of ipas from vermont to california to massachusetts to um, this will be the first one from, um, well, not actually they're from Mass uh, California as well. So California and Chicago um, is what uh, Langan Langanitis is known for. Oh, look, it actually has a little breakdown of how to say it. Lagu Lan Lagunitas. Lagunitas. There you go. They give you this, they give it to you right on the box. I love that. Lagunitas. Lagunitas. That's it. Now we know. How was it? It's good. Somewhere in Vegas, my buddy um, Keith is shaking his head um, because he always picks on me for not knowing how to pronounce the beer. Lagun Lagunitas. So I think this one tastes very malty right off the bat. It, I think this is, tastes as, um, the same as when you get it at a bar. Let's see what this one's I agree with the lovely Jen. I think it's a little malty. I'm going to give this an 8.2. So this one says, thanks for choosing to spend the next few minutes with this fine ale. Oh, so they're calling, is it an ale? What kind of a beer is that? IPA. Okay. An ale. Savor the moment as the expansive Bob character engage the imperial qualities of the malt foundation. Look at us, Michael. We know what yeah. we're talking about. In combat on the battlefield of your palate. Life is uncertain. Don't sip. Call me. And there's a phone number. So maybe we will call them at the end of this clip and <laughs> we knows? will see what happens together. Maybe we'll replace the words of wisdom with a phone call. We're definitely going to call. 
Yeah, eight two, eight point two. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's see what else. So there's three locations. I don't know if we said that yet. Um, the originals in. California, California and then Chicago and Seattle. They also have locations as well. Do you so, want to read this, Michael? So concert season is almost upon us. Um, anybody going to any great concerts? Um, I'm happy to announce that Pearl Jam's finally, after two years, going back on tour. Um, we've been holding tickets for Pearl Jam for two years, and yep. you know we were starting to think, will they ever go back on tour again? And Happy to see that they're finally going back on tour. So New York City uh, in September we're going to be going to. And um, there's also another show in Arizona in May. So very short notice. Um, but, hopefully, hopefully. Um, Still figuring out the details. But we're hoping to go to that concert. And then um, being the fanatic that I am, I also put in for Vegas just in case. Um, so that might be in May as well. But let's see what happens. So stay tuned, Dad. Maybe we'll be seeing you in Vegas. And Kay Loveless. Oh, you want them to read something from the box? Yeah, why don't you read that first paragraph? All right. Let's see what it says. It's a little bit about Lag Lagunitas. The Lagunitas Brewing Company began on a kitchen stove in Northern California in 1993, and it has been crafting hop-forward beers ever since, welcoming the open-minded with open taps and simple truths. Beer speaks for itself. Life is uncertain. Don't sip. And it's good to have friends. Can't agree with any everything. I, I agree with everything I just said. Yeah, so. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. To quote our brew monster, Lagunitas is made up of all kinds of creeds, punk rockers, misfits, Ivy Leaguers, weirdos, waldos, sparkle ponies, musicians, and everything in between. Like a chooch in me. I think that describes our group of friends perfectly. <laughs> just a pack of stray dogs that found despite our vast and wild differences. I love this. That the love and respect for the freedom to be different is what brought us together and made it all work. Talk about words of wisdom right there. Yeah, that's good. Galowski, just for that words of wisdom, you picked a nice box there, my friend. <laughs> so this one's a little too malty for me. I'm actually going to give you the rest of mine if you want to Oh, wow. <laughs> but up bum bum so she gives this one a jeers. I'm on. not, I don't like the malt flavor too much, but that first one I loved. And you know, I'm pretty sure I've had this before out and I don't remember. I don't think on draft it tastes as malty, to yeah. be honest. Or maybe I've had a different, maybe I've had a different one. This one's a little malty, but so far that first one was. I mean, I've seen beer connoisseurs that like kind of flip the cans and do weird stuff. So maybe we're supposed to do something weird with the can that I'm not aware of, but. I said in previous videos, we're we're not connoisseurs. We're not gonna we're not gonna sniff the beers. We're not gonna do any of that weird stuff. We're just drinking beers. We're a married couple that's come to this journey to drink some beers and have a good time. And we're you're joining us for the ride, and we love you for it. Yes. What do we got next? Well, here it is. Here's the one that was recommended to us right after episode one of Jennifer's Journey's beer reviews. This is Lagunitas, little something. Something ale. All right, let's see what it's all about. You want to open it up? Sure. There you are. All right, beer number three out of the tasting. I feel like there's a lot of pressure in this one because this one was a recommended beer. No, honest reviews here. We Always can... honest reviews. There you go. No hard feelings. And Murph Media 86 asked about, um, we mentioned in a previous video about the um, Best of the Best Awards. Um, so we didn't write anything down for this episode, but I would say, we'll have to say at the same time, Best of the Best for Chicken Parm Throwdown of <laughs> wait 2021. A wait a second, wait a second. That's a lot of pressure to just throw out there. Well, I already know my answer. Will it still be Tony Donopolis, which we mentioned a ton of times, or will somebody else Take the reins. All right, I'm ready. In three, two, one, drum roll, go. Anthony's authentic. Anthony's authentic Italian <laughs> takes the crown. Based in Providence, Rhode Island. Um, we had special guests and we with had, us. Yeah, um, Jonathan Brown Menzi joined us from when we filmed it. Um, and I think I scored it a 9.8 for Chicken Parm. I think Jen scored it a flat out 10 also um, your family members joined us and as then well. when my family member uh, my family came down for uh 
for our, what do you call that party again? Uh, a pre-wedding event. A pre-wedding event. Um, not the rehearsal dinner or anything like that. It was a pre-wedding event a month before that. Um, whatever the bridal shower is supposed to be, we, we, we Puerto Rican it up and had, um, it was co-ed and my family came down and the night before, um, a lot of my family went to us with us to Anthony's Authentic Italian and they gave rave reviews as well. It's amazing there. It's we've tried a lot of chicken parm this year, probably fifty places. We don't we don't record all of them, but we're always testing them in the background and they have amazing chicken parm. Just how we like it pounded thin. Very thin. Their sauce is amazing. Crisp to perfection. Crisp to perfection. I like their pink sauce, which not all restaurants offer. And that was just gooey gooey cheese coated all around. Um, Outside seating, live music. Live music on the weekends, out, yeah. Great service, good wine. Could it be and the best if you're a calamari fan, uh, probably the best calamari I've ever had in my life. Shout and it's not out, even a seafood restaurant. Shout so. out to Anthony's authentic Italian. You guys are amazing. We will be back for sure. We're gonna bring everyone back every time. So Anthony's authentic Italian, you get the twenty twenty one Genicals Journey oh, Chicken Palm Throwdown Cheers of the Year Award. <laughs> For chicken pie. And I'll drink to that. Okay, so I really like this one. This one's really good. You ready to take a sip? Yeah. You, oh. were, you were talking. <laughs> you were talking, so... <laughs> I like this one a lot. This is actually very smooth. This is good. All right. You want to read this one? I like your voice better, so okay. go for it. I'll read it. This special ale is kind of like its own thing. Like David S. Pumpkins. If you know that <laughs> reference, comment below. David S. Pumpkins. Who knows it? Shout out to David S. S. Pumpkins himself. <laughs> C. Patton's husband. <laughs> We're in the camp with Jaffe Ryder when Do he you declares know who that is? to I don't know who Ray that Smith that comparisons are odious. Well, whatever. Give us a call. 707-769-4495. Well, we don't need to speak anybody at the tavern. Also, they need to hire my wife for the for the speaker of that. Um, we that will recording. fast forward through that so you don't have to. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't edit these videos. The beer reviews are, are unfiltered. <laughs> We're fine. All right. What does this one say? Uh, Nine point two. What for this kind? One. What is it like described as on the box? A way smooth and silky IPA. Yeah, there's nothing else on this box. You want to give it another word out? Or you want to wait for the next sure, beer? Sure, yeah, let's do it in a word. Alright. The award for the best lobster roll of 2021. So think about your answer. It's it's going to be a tough, for, tough one for me because it's going to be narrowed down to two. They were phenomenal. Um, they got really high scores for me. One packed the lobster roll heavy, and it was phenomenal. And the other one didn't have as much lobster meat, but it was also phenomenal. So, um, Wait, we would like to say we're our least favorite lobster dishes as well. I don't oh, think we're, we're going to have the Jeers. We, we're going to have the Jeers Awards, too. We did not these report the, on that. These are the yet. Cheers Awards. All right, five. I'm not four, sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You can say tie. Three, two, one. The best lobster roll of 2021 for Jenna Who's Journey is Evelyn's. What's your answer? I couldn't think of one. I don't know. I can't think of it. With a very distinct honor, honorable mention to Blunt Clam Shack. I hope I'm yes. saying that correctly. Yes, you are. That is correct. Um, but both of them got pretty much the same score for me in the very high nines. Um, so I had to narrow down to... Actually, the fries are both really good in both of them. The lobster was both phenomenal for both of them. It's, it was super close. 
So I had to narrow down. And the to, views are both amazing. Well, I, well, I, I, I had to narrow down to location, and the location with the views of Evelyn's kind of beats the. the They're block both so good. Both the views are amazing. But they're unmatchable. I had to go, Evelyn's. Are you going blonde? I don't know. I'm not ready to answer that. So we have to stay tuned to. I have to think about it. We have to etch in the stone because it has to be a yeah. joint decision. Yeah. So. Oh, stay we don't tuned. always agree on it though. I don't think it has to be a joint decision. All right, so we're going to etch in a stone <laughs> the Ickle of Jennifer's Journeys 2021 Best Lobster Roll Cheers Awards goes to Evelyn's in Tiverton, Rhode Island. Okay. Now for the Cheers Award. What about Best Hotel? Oh, best Hotel. Easy. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two... One. The Genicals Journey. <laughs> the Genicals Journey Best Hotel of 2021 Award goes to The Excellence Playa Mujeres. Which is what I said, too. <laughs> Two star rooftop terrace. I mean, we went all out for that one. Um, it was our honeymoon. So, um, literally, when I proposed to Jen, I said, Here's the three venues I think you will love. We narrowed one down in about two days. And right after that, I said, by the way, I booked our honeymoon. This is the location. I think you'll love it. Yeah, that's what happened. The rest is history. That's what happened. All right, what's their mm -hmm. first Jeers? First Lobster Jeers. The Lobster Roll Showdown Jeers Award. Um, we didn't even actually film the Lobster Roll Showdown there because it was horrendous, horrible, awful, bad customer service, a bathroom situation that was not um, up it to was specs. Horrendous, um, horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. And believe it or not, it was in Portland, Maine, where the freaking lobsters are, like... The freshest of the fresh. So, the biggest jeers of my life for a restaurant goes to... Agreed, actually. Agreed. I forget the name of the restaurant because I hated it so much. <laughs> it's in our Portland video. <laughs> we'll type it in. We'll type it in. Some right awful here. restaurant... I'll type it right here when I'm editing. Some awful <laughs> restaurant in, in Portland, Maine. Yeah. Um, Don't go. Whatever. And they, yeah, it we was don't even bad. want to talk about it. We don't even want to talk about it. No. What else? What else are we doing? What other awards? We're going to try a final beer. What other awards? Um, I don't know. You want to do the best cameo? Because we had some cameos. No, we can't pick cameo. We can't pick our favorites. <laughs> <laughs> You're all our favorites. Our Superlatives for best Golden Circle members are Jay Foss, Murph Bandy 86, C. Mikulowski, M. Miller, Jonathan Brown Menzies, and who else have we got? And all of you viewers who watch our videos. Please continue to watch it. Continue your to support us. Dad, Click that subscribe brother, button. Hit that dad, notification bell. My dad, all that good your stuff. Dad your brother all you subscribers out there we oh really yeah guys love um, us. mr really... grim victory yeah uh, yeah he, he supports us big as well um actually one part of grim victory uh what's his name dj victory uh, yeah chuk, chuk, chuk. you can catch this video as well where he um and his buddy decide um who's the better rapper we will link his page below that's our last one piece of advice to you words of wisdom Battle back. Battle back. Don't let them dog you. <laughs> the last beer is Hazy Wonder. Hazy Wonder is the last beer um, on, on our um, episode today. Um, is the dog's back in this video, too. Video? On this um, beer. Maybe you can. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Hazy Wonder reminds me of our wedding song, Wonderwall. So again, this one's a light one, so we're going back to light now. Is there anything on the can about Hazy Wonder? There's a really cute dog. Same dog as I think that's on the other one. So this is a Hazy IPA. We've drank a few Hazy IPAs on our, on our time. Yes. You want to read that right here? When a burning idea strikes, 
Why do they say a light bulb goes off and not on? The difference between a spark of genius and a flash in a pan really just comes down to think or whim. But how can something so hazy be so bright? Life is uncertain. Don't sip. Hazy wonder and bodies are endless fascination with hop forward brewing expressed in a bright and unfiltered light. Let us know what you think. We will. We definitely will. I wish you guys would have picked up when we called. Well, Lagunitas, I'm going to let you know what I think right now. Is it a cheers or jeers? Cheers to the final beer on the review. Ooh. I smell a little pineapple. I taste yeah, this has good. a fruity afterbite to it. So out of the four, this might be my least favorite. But it's not a jeers. I'm going to give this a 7.8. Yeah, it's really yummy. Hmm. What do you rank it? Michael, I haven't ranked any of them yet. <laughs> Can you rank a beer from Murph Mania 86, please? He wants. He needs to rank it. <gasps> Some cool quotes on here. Some cool stuff. I like it. I would say this is my second favorite out of the pack. Wow, actually. this is my least favorite out of the pack. Um... To sum, up, to sum up this review, you know, this was a solid beer review, and I think, um, C. Mikulowski, you know what you were talking about, because we had, I think, a 9, an 8.9, uh, 8.0, and a 7.8. Four cheers. Yep. We liked it. We're into it. When the, la when the least popular beer is 7.8, it means it's a good mix pack. I would get these out at a bar. I would definitely get these out if I saw them on top. And this beer got me in the mood for summer. I think this is a good summery mix pack, actually. Um, I think the daytime is probably the best for the summer, like chilling yeah. on the beach. Yeah. Especially for those who are driving home, like it's uh, low in alcohol contact, three carbs, and very low on the calories, too. Don't drink and drive. Fine. Don't drink and drive. But if you're going to have three beers, then that's the one you're going to pick. But I think little something. I think I ranked this my highest, so. Wow. That was good. Mm-hmm. It was good. I wonder who this lady is. Good question. We'll have to check out their about me. Comment below if you know who the lady is. So, will we do more chicken parm throwdowns? Yes. Will we do more lobster roll showdowns? Absolutely. Will we continue to do 48 hours in... This particular city you betcha because that's what we've been focusing on lately but we're not gonna stray from what our original concepts were either so we will do more chicken parm throwdowns we will we'll do more lobster roll showdowns we'll continue to do our beer reviews um we've had some some of our loyal followers say hey i missed this or i missed that or i missed this we're bringing we're bringing a lot of it back yeah thank you for your continued support we appreciate every single one of you who subscribed um we had a subscriber who asked for the main um, main lunch main brewing company um, and we tasted that in the previous video uh, for Cedar House Cedar House in Walpole, Massachusetts just posted that video a couple days ago so go back and check that video out shout out to the crew over yeah. there also thank you so, so much to Cedar House as well as Limey's Pub um, they were um, so gracious to collaborate with us uh, for two previous videos as well as uh, giveaways on Instagram yeah gift card giveaways to one of our mutual followers just for following our journey on Instagram and for, you know, enjoying enjoying what we're doing as much as we are. Thank you all for the suggestions. We've met so many great people on this journey and we can't wait to share it all with you. So we'll continue, continue to try beer, continue to eat some good lobster, continue, continue yeah. to eat some good chicken parm and continue, continue to introduce you to our journey uh, where our life takes us um, throughout the whole journey. We love your support, and we'll see you next time. Um, do you have any words of wisdom this time? Uh, follow on Jonical's journey, both on Instagram and here on YouTube. Subscribe, like the video, share with your friends. If you're a Mets supporter or if you're not, let us know below. We appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. I'll give you a word, a word of wisdom for all your parents out there. 
I'm going to give you my favorite quote. Tell me and I forget. Show me and I'll remember. Involve me and I'll understand. See you next time, guys. Take care.